Hello. Um, well, uh, I did not want to do this video like this at all, but uh, here we are. Fucking hell. Um, I was trying to record some gameplay, but the game kept kept crashing over and over and over and over, and uh, I'm kind of I'm. I kind of went through it very quickly, and it's the the mods that are not working. Um, so I tried to unpatch all the mods and leave one specific mod functioning. And um, then I try to use that mod, and I can't because the the game just keeps crashing whenever I use that mod. The mod itself was Adron uh, auto reroll, so you could. Do this automatically. Let me show you uh, where is it. There he is. So I'm trying to get a five percent crit chance. So yay! Praise the Omnissiah. Splendid. Praise the Omnissiah. I trust you are pleased, Violet. It is done. So the mod did this uh, automatically, and the. Uh, it would also shut that bad run, so I would have to hear. Uh. Anyways, uh. Fucking hell, it was the only mod I wanted working. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video. A new marvel is awoken. Uh, the reason I, I wanted to do this video was to talk about uh, the new patch that just came out. And um, I, uh, all my attempts at making this video, I was focusing on uh, 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 bullet points. And uh, he goes like uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, the good is, uh, I re if you've seen my most recent videos, um, a couple of days ago I released a video where I was asking for... Uh, higher difficulty and they did manage to deliver that by adding a, a few game modes uh, like uh, event things with the, the dogs and the, now there's snipers and stuff like that and I appreciate that I really appreciate that from from pet chart but then there's the bad and there's the ugly and uh, the bad was the weapons uh, this, this uh, patch uh, was named Tools of War. It adds 10 new weapons, and all of them are. Eh. Uh, now, the old green weapons, I, I've only tried the weapons on the second area, so take this uh, with, a, with a pinch of salt, because uh, I don't I, I haven't tested the, the weapons. I tested a couple in, in real games, but the games just. Uh, Either crashed or we lost very very quickly. Um, and uh, the yellow green weapons uh, are okay. They're not bad. They're okay. The power sword, the new power sword, is also okay. The new weapons for the psyker are uh, underwhelming, but they're not that bad. And there's the the shotgun. The shotguns are just uh, disappointing. For the veteran, I think they're completely useless. Uh, one one of the shotguns is uh, supposed to focus on the dealing single target damage. Just you load the sludge gun and the sludge uh, bullet, and it's just boom, kind of like a tiny cannon. And I just look at it, and it has no ammo. Uh, damage is really low, and uh, it's completely, infinitely outclassed by the plasma gun. Uh, if you take the plasma gun instead of that shotgun going to do infinitely better no matter the, the scenario. Woo! Unfucking believable, unfucking believable. Uh, I I managed to run the mod a couple of times uh, until the the roll uh, until I, I got the roll. Uh, now th this leads me to, to the ugly. Uh, so the the weapons were a bit underwhelming. Uh, not ideal fat shark. The ugly is uh, things like this. Uh, the reroll uh, mod that I had going on. You know how many times I had to roll for critical strike chance on this weapon? Um, over 1000 times. 
Uh, I'm not joking, I wish I was recording it, but uh, the game crashed twice. And it did a, a roll of uh, over 1000 times for, for this. Uh, I've recently tried it, it, I was showing a friend of mine how this mod works, and for a couple of perks it took... Uh, one, one of them took over 500, the other fi over 300. So sometimes it takes some time. It's expected, it's absolute chance. Um, uh, one time it, it, it rolled immediately. Uh, another time it rolled after just uh, about 10 times. Uh, this, this time it took over 1,000 attempts to get this that I just got, increased strength, critical strike chance. 1,000 times more than a thousand times um, and that's the ugly uh, and I think Fat Shark needs to, to deal with these kind of things uh, uh, the game itself is incredible I find the, the, the visual design is perfect the audio design is perfect the music score is perfect uh, the characters are good they could be better they could be, the, the, the storyline, the plot could also be better more polished uh, then there's these tiny quirky aspects in the game that I'm not in love with at all, like the the reroll thing and the Yadron just uh, sp spamming her spamming her voice uh, like over and over and over and over. Um, the guns themselves, the new weapons. I, I have a couple of uh, the, the new ones. I have this one and this one, and I want to try them out. Uh, they're Okay, I guess. Uh, but that's about it. Um, so, uh, I, I'm going to end this video by saying that I really hope that Fat Shark listens to to this video. They, they've, they've, I've, I've been seeing, <laughs> I've been able to predict the future when it comes to what's coming out. Uh, I kind of predicted exactly these: just a few weapons for the ogre, and um, uh, a few. A few options for all the other classes. The Psyker and then the Combat Shotguns and the Thunder Hammer. The Thunder Hammer, the new one, again, with only Psychonarium tests, it feels like absolute crap. It's pr probably the worst weapon in the entire game. Uh, I don't like saying this. I, I, I keep saying that all weapons are different rules. Um, but this patch, uh, when I saw these weapons, I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe there's some options in like the the shotguns. Uh, perhaps with the zealots, you might have some options for them. Um, but then I, I I keep thinking over and over and over and over. Okay, I have these options. There are better options, there are infinitely better options, and. Uh, there's a, He's really disappointed. Uh, I think aside from the ogre weapons and maybe the power, the new power sword, all the weapons were a bit underwhelming. Even the ogre ones, they, they're okay. They're not bad. They're just okay. Um, but all the other ones were meh. Uh, uh, and, and then I, I try to to load the mods because they, they're all quality of life improvements. Uh, timers on the abilities. Um, uh, the the game at uh, staying uh, staying on when you when you fall down and you you end up dying you you enter the spectator mode and uh, I had one that could allow me to, to perceive the, the game the the players uh, add uh, so another one was the scoreboard I find the scoreboard extremely important because it really helps you keep track of what's going on with the game. How many specials have you killed? How many uh, materials have you collected? How much have you been in coherency, like the coherency, efficiency? That's the most important thing in the entire game. And uh, I, I recently had a few games. I'm not sure if I'm having uh, any of them uploaded, but because they're just nasty games with nasty people, <laughs> nasty, nasty players that uh, just... Um, that one of them was incredible. I was playing the, the, the Shield Ogreen. And I kept the, the shield down almost the entirety of the game. I still dealt more damage than everyone else. And I was just completely astonished. And I was like, 
how, how, how the fuck is that even possible? Like, how the fuck is that even possible? I'm not doing anything and I'm dealing more damage than everyone else. Another game that I had very recently that I was just... Um, so this is gonna <laughs> gonna serve as a um, teaser for what's to come, but I'm leveling up the Psyker and the, my Psyker is at the moment level 10. Um, I never had any interest, so I, but I decided to, to level it up just to have the final character at level 30. Um, and there was this match, uh, difficulty 3, uh, I think, and we get to the to the boss, the, the captain at the, the assassination missions. And I was playing with three players, all of them over level 20. And, and I asked them, uh, have you ever finished this mission? Have you ever killed this boss? You know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, no problem. Uh, we get this easy. And uh, they all just die <laughs> over and over and over and over and then I'm, I'm just trying to focus on surviving and I'm, re uh, res I'm at the respawn zone just getting them up, rescuing them over and over and over and over uh, and they just get up, die, get up, die, get up, die. They're not doing anything, they're dealing absolutely zero damage uh, on the boss. I, I'm uh, using the brain bursts to try and to deal some damage every now and then, but I'm more focused on killing everything else because they weren't doing anything. Three players, all of the three of them, completely useless. And I'm like, guys, I, I'm level ten. I I can only do as much uh, with a character with absolutely zero items. I, mean, I haven't purchased any items for the the psyker. I haven't tried any items. I think I have the last pistol and the, the sword. I think. And I'm not doing anything, I'm just uh, rushing through the levels. So when we get to the assassination uh, boss, I'm thinking maybe this is going to be difficult. But who knows, the, the boss itself is so fucking easy. So fucking easy, you just have to dodge his attacks and dodging his attacks is so... It's the most telegraphed boss in, in boss history, video game history. Uh, the Plague of Green is, is another one. Now people lose health to Plague of Green. It's, it's incredible. Sometimes, yeah, it happens. Uh, it happens to me. So, but I, I, I'm not that even. I'm not even that good at the game. I just know the basics. I just try to have fun, and that's it. Uh, I, I assume everyone's just trying to have fun. But can you can you do the the, the bare minimum? That's all I ask. Um, it's really, really difficult to, to bash on Fat Shark uh, for a game that I really love because I really love this game. But I, I, I cannot play without mods because the game, the game is absolutely broken. Uh, the, the the shops are really not that good. There's nothing interesting here. I'm looking at this for the first time. I know 100% that there's nothing here uh, that's going to get, like, get cut, catch my attention. Um, super efficient. Uh, nah, nope, nope, nope. Uh, yeah, the, the game, the game is not. Is, I love the game. I honestly love the game. But they need, they need to, they need to, to, to amp it up. They need to do something about it. And uh, they're going to keep losing players. And the, the reason I, I, I always wanted to have uh, more difficulty added to, to the game is so that good players overcome uh, these challenges, bad players just give up. Uh, I think if you love the game and if you have fun with the game and if you really want to get good at it, you're going to overcome these challenges. Um, it's how video gaming works, <laughs> you overcome challenges. And um, I don't mind if the, the player base gets reduced to, to, to a select small group of uh, people that are just playing for fun and that are efficient at performing at the game. Um, and uh, at the moment uh, there are a few issues in the game that I want to see fixed. And um, the, the entire player base needs to, to, to get their noggin that... Uh, you cannot blame Fat Shark uh, for delivering uh, underwhelming patches, and they're trying to get the game 
uh, <laughs> into the, the the state of actually being a real game. And at this point, I, as much as I love the game, as much as I think it's an incredible game, I cannot recommend it whatsoever. I want to. I want to. I have a few friends that I have told them I really want you guys to play this game with me because we have fun playing video games together. This is going to be one of them. It's going to be an amazing experience. But at the moment, the game needs to, to developers need to, to go one step further to, to deliver a good patch. I hope they deliver a patch like this next month. I know they won't, but they should. Because patches like these are doing absolutely nothing for me. I don't care about the new weapons at all. Some of them are okay. Great. Um, I have five setups for the Ogun already. Four of them, I love these four setups. Uh, and then there's this setup that's the new weapons, and I honestly have no idea what to think of them. Um, so, yeah, the veteran, I'm not going to change anything there. The the zealot, I still have to, to perfect, uh, like, uh, min max a few things until I, I get some more videos out because I want things to, to get to a certain level of. Uh, Excellency. Um, I don't mind the buggy game. I don't. I don't mind the problems with the game, but they need to be dealt with fast. Otherwise, you are losing me. Otherwise, you are going to lose a lot of good players uh, because I'm not going to spend uh, one hour re-rolling uh, for perks. I have more things to do. So, yeah. Uh, regarding the game itself, I, uh, it, <laughs> I'm gonna ask it again. Add friendly fire. Please, add friendly fire so people stop wasting ammo, so people stop shooting and not doing anything at all. Uh, tighten the coherency aspects of the game. Because uh, whenever you're out of coherency, the game throws the, the special units at you. The dogs, the mutants, the, the flamers, the bombers, snipers. Uh, ramp that up. Uh, uh, there's a, this Vermintide uh, mod, I think it's in Chaos Wastes, where if you uh, the, the plague uh, from the Nurgle uh, demon, where if you stay away from your team, you start losing health. I would like to see something like that in this game. Like, if you are out of coherency, you lose toughness. Um, I'm just throwing it out there because the game needs to be more difficult in order to people to to actually become good at it. Um, the game at the moment is just too easy. The only reason uh, runs are lost is because people are completely clueless, unfortunately, and uh, I hate saying this because I think it's a good player base, I think it's a very decent player base compared to a lot of other video games out there, uh, but I'm getting tired of uh, getting in a game and something silly happens and uh, everyone just goes like, oh, Fat Shark, is, uh, uh, Fat Shark uh, games and this and that, and I'm like, well, um, it's not Fat, Fat Shark's uh, problem that people want to this game out so much. Uh, I remember when this game was in development still uh, uh, on last year, uh, when they announced that they were going to release it in December, I kind of predicted the outcome and told everyone all. As much as I wanted and as much as I like it, as much as I needed, because at the time I really needed a, a new escapism from real life and uh, I, I really wanted this game out, but I thought myself, well, if it's out this soon, it's probably going to have this and this and this problem, and now here we are. Uh, patch uh, 1.40 or something. I appreciate the effort, but I'm not happy with it. I'm really not happy at all. Um, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to keep having fun because I think the game is amazing. But please, please, Fetcher, issue a few more patches as fast as possible fix the game as fast as possible uh, look at uh, the mods the mods out there because the mod uh, the, the the mod community is fixing the game the mod uh, i i have a few just a 
handful of uh, mods and uh, it completely fixes the game. Uh, th th that's it. I have no idea what else to say. Uh, I, I, I really hope that Fetch Art, someone at Fetch Art listens to, to this video because this is the most in an interesting video that I'm getting out there, but it is the, the most important video I'm getting out there. Um, I, I'm not doing weapon tier lists. Uh, fuck that shit. I don't care about that shit. I, I care about the game being good. I'm not going to, to put um, um, well, like solo runs anytime soon because I don't care about that. It's a, it's a, it's a team game. I'm here to play as a team uh, and uh, at the moment I, I have a good friend that I play with and um, he, he kind of drifted away from the game because he's just like, well, it's not, it's not worth it. The game is not worth it. And I reluctantly have to agree with him. I'm gonna keep dropping content. I have uh, at least a couple of weeks of content coming out. But I'm just going to upload this video because uh, I, I really hope someone at Fetch Art hears this out. Uh, just, again, a gr great community. Uh, make it better. Amazing game. Make it better. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's. Uh, I'm the I'm the only I'm the only one I know that's just that my uh, I applaud the efforts from Fedchart for what they have done, but at the same time I, I do I have to, to recognize the the game itself and uh, they they need to realize what the problem is and uh, they need to stop doing patches like these patches like these are borderline offensive. I don't care about new weapons, I, I care about the game. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, 10 new weapons, all of them completely underwhelming. Uh, a few bug fixes. Uh, great. You, you still have a few hundred more to, to, to cover. Uh, the game modes, the new game modes are, are nice, and I'll give it that. But yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna end my rant here. Fetcher, please listen. <laughs>